Let me show you the world. When I was a student, there was one billion people in the West, the rich part of the world, and there were two billion people, each block one billion, in the developing world, and there was a gap in between. What has happened during my lifetime is that we became four billion more in the world, and the richest became even more rich. Where have these extra ended up? With one billion is actually where the West used to be, like successful China, Brazil, Turkey. Huh? They acquired the Volvo company, so we know that they are just back of us. And three billions are here. They have a relatively decent life. They are two child families. Children go to school, but they live under modest economic situation. Two billion are almost as poor today. One or two billion, as it was before. The poor are a smaller proportion of the world population, but their numbers is almost the same. Now, if I would place them in a sequence, the very poorest two billion, these billions, imagine the seven billion people in the world from the poorest to the richest. And we have seven million children who die every year. Seven billion people, seven million children die. Six of these die in the poorest two billion. One die here in the middle and here almost no one. Where are then the fossil fuel emission? If this is all the carbon dioxide emission in the world, almost half of it has been here now the last decade with the richest one billion. There are two units here. There is one unit each here and only one unit for these two. It's very unevenly distributed into this direction. They really emit a, a lot of carbon dioxide. And these ones are getting so rich, so they are starting to emit more and more. Huh? So what we see now is that we see an addition here because they copy what the riches do. This is the problem of carbon dioxide. The people here in the middle, they hardly doesn't emit anything at all. They just have a lamp in their house. And the poorest almost nothing. So the challenge for the world now is get away extreme poverty here and get these people to adapt and use less fossil fuel and use more green energy sources so that everyone can share their energy level in the future because there will be three billion more. Then population growth will stop. And these one will get richer. They will move up here. Huh? They will come on top. This is how the world will look by the end of this century. And the rich, see here, this is the old Western world. It will just be the foundation of the modern world. And they are very few. They will be less than 10% of the world population. So their fossil fuel consumption, their carbon dioxide emission, has to be on a level that can be shared by 10 times as many people.